today i'm going to talk about a shift manual this is a breathing manual used by the therapist in patients who have intercostal weaknesses or a poorly expanding chest wall during inspiration when an individual has a dominant diaphragmatic breathing pattern that results in collapse of the anterior chest wall as is seen in cases of C4 to C4 motor complete injuries the volume of air moving into the lungs does not act to expand the chest wall but instead moves in a caudal direction hence a maneuver is needed which can help these patients an air shift is a maneuver in which a person inhales maximally closes the glottis and relaxes the diaphragm to move the air upward towards the middle and the upper lobe of the chest and create expansion of these regions it can potentially expand the chest from half to 2 inches now how to perform this technique air shift maneuver is a very easy maneuver to be performed on to the patients first of all position your patient properly always position the patient in supine line then the therapist can place his one hand on the upper chest and the other hand on the lower chest to assess the movement then ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold the breath while holding the breath the therapist ask the patient to suck in the abdomen to draw in the abdomen so that air will move from lower part to upper part of thorax also instruct the patient to perform this exercise daily as the therapist has placed his or her one hand on the upper chest and other on the lower chest so he or she will be able to easily assess when the diaphragmatic excursion is happening and when the abdomen is being sucked in and the upper chest movement is taking place a shift maneuver is basically indicated in individuals with paradoxical breathing or a poorly expanding chest wall during inspiration who have intercostal muscle weakness when i say paradoxical breathing it means the people with intercostal muscle weakness and the diaphragm is working properly uh, example c4 to t4 motor complete injuries where the individuals have a dominant diaphragmatic breathing pattern that result in collapse of the anterior chest wall so the volume of air moving into the lungs does not act to expand the chest wall but instead moves in a caudal direction air shift maneuver really helps in these patients also individuals who have generalized collapses this technique can be performed on to them as well since deep breathing is involved in this technique as well as breath holding is involved so there are possible complications associated with breath holding and hyperventilation so to avoid this individuals should exhale in between the attempts and should rest frequently in the training sessions